Hey parents, I'm Robin White, Director of Adult Ministry at Asbury, and I'm back for session two of the VBS Parent Video Series. Today we're going to meet one of the Bible's greatest heroes. See if you can guess who he is. He was saved by his Hebrew mom, raised by Pharaoh's daughter. He had to flee Egypt after killing a man. He became an immigrant shepherd, and he had a speech impediment. You probably guessed it, it's Moses. To hear the story of Moses, please pause this video and read Exodus chapter three, verses one through 20. In today's story, we're gonna talk about fear and how we can place our trust in God. Fear is something that I'm sure that many of your children have experienced, and it may be helpful for them to know that they're not alone with these feelings. Even Moses was fearful. In our biblical reading, Moses is depicted as an ordinary person. Think back over Moses' life. He was not a glorious, polished man of his time. He struggled in many ways. Although Mo Moses was Hebrew by birth, he was raised in the Egyptian court. After Moses had become an adult, he saw an Egyptian hurting a Hebrew worker. Moses was so upset by what he saw, he killed the Egyptian. Out of fear, Moses fled to the land of Midian. This is a great place in the story to talk to your child about how Moses was just an ordinary guy. He didn't wear a superhero cape and he didn't have supernatural powers. He was just a normal person who experienced a variety of emotions, just like us. While Moses was shepherding sheep on Mount Horeb, Moses saw a bush that was on fire. Exodus 3, chapter, chapter 3, verse 3 in the Common English Bible tells us, Then Moses said to himself, Let me check out this amazing sight and find out why this bush isn't burning up. When the Lord saw that he was coming to look, God called to him out of the bush, Moses, Moses. Moses said, Here I am. Then the Lord said, Don't come any closer. Take off your sandals because you are on holy ground. Okay, I have many thoughts about this passage. Kudos to Moses for being curious enough to explore that crazy phenomenon. And did you notice that God waited until Moses came toward him before he called out Moses' name? And I probably would have passed out had I heard a voice come from a bush, much less a bush that was on fire. God reached out to ordinary Moses in an extraordinary way. And doesn't God do that for us too? Can you think of a time in your life when God got your attention in a unique way? God had a big job for Moses. He asked Moses to return to Egypt and deliver God's people out of slavery and bondage. Moses did not feel that he was the right person for the job. He asked, who am I to go to Pharaoh and bring the Israelites out of Egypt? But God said, I'll be with you. Talk to your child about the fear that Moses had. Eventually, Moses came to trust God and he faced Pharaoh. He led the Hebrew people out of Egypt and to the promised land. How could God use you, an ordinary person just like Moses, to answer God's call? What if you were able to put your trust in God to help you overcome fear? Can you hear the powerful and comforting words of God? I'll be with you. This reminds us that answering God's call and trusting in him can allow us to be a beacon of light for him. Many times we want to ask, who am I, Lord, to do your great work? It's easier to let fear overwhelm us. But God is trustworthy. He loves us and he wants us to trust him. And he will always be with us. Amen.